The Grease Pencil got some minor interface and workflow improvements that make it in total feel more round and more blenderish. For example, say I'd like to add a new layer here for the mouth and use continuous drawing. I simply select continuous drawing, then D, start drawing. And you know that now I can simply keep drawing by left clicking and I don't yet have to hit D all the time. But let's say I'm finished done with the mouse and now I want to go to editing. And you see that when I'm hovering over here, yes, I still have the drawing icon for my mouse. But, and beforehand I would have needed to hit escape to exit this. But now this is no longer needed. I can simply left click and it both stops the continuous drawing and it also registers the click. So it's non-blocking now, which is pretty cool and also very helpful for people who are using tablets because they don't need to have a keyboard just to hit escape anymore. Pretty, pretty cool. And now I, that I have enabled editing, I see on the top right of the window, there is a small notification that I'm in Grease Pencil Stroke Editing mode, which is really important because I don't always know whether I'm in this mode or not. For example, so let's say I have hidden the toolbar and want to draw. Because I don't have the mode down here, there was actually no indication whatsoever whether I'm in edit mode or not. And now we have this little indication down or up here. Really, really useful. And now since I'm in edit mode, I want to show you the new hide and show features. Basically, we can hide and show layers just like I can hide and show objects in object mode now. So let me hit H to hide this layer here and then Alt H to bring it back. Or let me select this layer and Shift H hides everything except this one layer. And of course, Alt H will always bring back everything. So really cool additions to the Grease Pencil and the developers really put some thoughts into the interface here to make everything more round and more blenderish. So thank you.